Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Little. I'm here today with the 36th week of WeeklyPokerHand.com, where today I'm going to be going over a hand I played recently in the $25,000 Bellagio main event. Uh, we are very deep stacked, and at this point I don't really know anything about my opponents. And honestly, I think this hand is not even that player dependent. I think this is just a spot that everyone should be aware of, where you have a very clear play. So right here, it goes raise, call. I like to call with 10-9 suited. I think right here, a call is fine or a 3-bet is fine. If you think your opponents are particularly weak, you should probably call to keep the other weak players in. And also because you don't really want them to fold. If they're a little bit stronger, you should probably 3-bet to disguise your range and also possibly get value on future streets. Okay, forgive me, I'm having a little bit of a problem with the replayer here. It is not seeming to work right. What happens is the button and the big blind both call. Flop comes queen of diamonds, ten of diamonds, eight of diamonds. Uh, the first player bets. And the second player folds. And right here we have middle pair and a gut shot. And... I've talked to a few of my students that are just starting to learn the game, and they all agree this is a pretty good hand and a pretty good flop. But in reality, this is actually a terrible flop. And the reason this is a terrible flop is because, first off, the guy that's betting could have a queen, or he could have a ten, both of which beat us. He could have um, something like King Jack with a diamond, which has a ton of equity against us. Let me go over here and show you guys that. Let's say he has king of diamonds, jack of clubs. We have ten of hearts, nine of hearts. You'll see the king jack with a diamond is actually a pretty big favorite. And that's going to be the case with pretty much any hand with a diamond. Let's say he has uh, ace of diamonds, six of clubs. You'll see even that hand has almost 50% equity, and that's just a naked diamond. So this is a spot where against this better, unless he has just total air, we are in pretty bad shape. Um, let's let's see what happens if he has something like jacks. You'll see that we're in pretty bad shape as well. Um, let's say aces. This is again with no diamond. We have some equity, but again only 33%, so it's not like we're happy. Um, what this boils down to is this is actually an atrocious flop. And a few of my, my newer students have said that they thought, oh, this is a great flop. We have a pair and a gut shot. So what they said they should do is raise the flop. And I think raising the flop would be pretty bad here, especially with two players behind you. You have to remember that it's not just heads up. If this was heads up, you could consider continuing. And then if your opponent checks on like a diamond, you could uh, blast away and hope to get him off of whatever he has. Or if, you know, if he checks pretty much any turn, you could go ahead and bet again. But whenever a guy bets into four people or five people, because remember, C5 folded, this is a spot where 10-9 is just absolutely crushed. Um, if And also, again, if, if you decide to call, which is your only other option besides raise or fold, you do have to worry about the other two players coming along behind. And then if you have other people coming along with flush draws and better pairs, you're just demolished. Let's actually see what happens if we give one guy... Um, the, eight, the naked ace, and then we give another guy king-queen. You'll see that you only have 20% equity. And this is about the best thing you could hope for if you go multi-way. Um, if we give we get this guy aces with no diamond, I guess we'll shoot up a little bit. So I guess this is really the best case, but whenever you have a flop like this, somebody's going to have a diamond. And if more than one person continues, someone's probably going to have something like top pair or a hand that has a lot of equity. So... Even though you have middle pair and a gut shot, this is an extraordinarily easy fold, and it's a spot where you should never, ever get yourself in trouble. So we fold, and that's the end of the hand for us. If you guys have any questions or comments about this hand or any other hand you have seen on weeklypokerhand.com, please feel free to let me know. This has been Jonathan Little. Thank you for watching.